Hello. I would like to make this video and even call it example zero on Kichos law. Since we've been applying Ohm's law, we have been applying Kichos law even without knowing. So I'll be showing some basic elementary examples of such scenarios where we were applying Kichos law even without knowing. Let us have the sample circuit. This is a battery. Let's connect this to a resistor. Let's connect it to another resistor. Let's call this a 9 volts battery. Let's call this three ohms resistor, and let's call this six ohms. The total resistance in this circuit, okay, let, let me say this, R1, R2, the total resistance in this circuit, R total in this circuit should be equal to R1 plus R2, and that should be three plus six, ohms, which is nine ohms. So when asked, what is the current equal to V over R total? And that is the nine volts divided by nine ohms will give us one. So when Ampere will flow back out of the six ohms resistor. When one ampere flows through resistor R1, we can determine what is the voltage drop across R1. The voltage can be determined in the I times R1. So the voltage dropped across resistor R1. You can still see we are even applying Ohm's law. Right here, we are still up. We are applying also V equal to IR. Voltage drop across resistor R2. We can call that since it's R2, let's just call it V2 to be product of current flow I times, and that is. Current is one ampere, resistance is six amperes. That is six volt. One point that should have crossed your mind right now is that when we add the three volts that has dropped across R1 to the six volts that two, we would have the total voltage supply to the uh, uh, circuits, which is nine volts. So what did Kirchhoff's law tell us? Kirchhoff's law tells us that when we want to analyze a circuit, 
to calculate the voltage drop across the circuit and the total voltages to algebraic sum of voltages in the circuit is zero. And what does that mean? When I want to analyze circuits using Kirchhoff's law, I start by saying I have a loop. And now look at this. This is the loop. And Kirchhoff's law says that since the direction of the loop here, which is clockwise, current wants to flow out of this battery normally. Positive terminal of the battery. Since current gates around the loop, then we say agrees with that of the current flow to resistor R1, then we say minus. Then we say the voltage drop across R1 will be I okay let's let's see you see minus I R1. Similarly, the direction of this loop is still clockwise and uh, it agrees with the direction of current flow through R2. Then the voltage drop minus I Voltage law and uh, that will mean nine minus three. I, I that is minus six. Sorry, I is one ampere right there. I is one ampere, R1 is three ohms. The product gives us three volts. I is one ampere, R2 is six ohms. The product gives us six volts and continues to say equal to zero. And looking at it, nine minus three minus six. Is it not zero? It is. So you can see from this video, I've shown you how you have been using Kirchhoff's law in the past, even without knowing Kirchhoff's voltage law. In the next video, I'll show you how you've been using Kirchhoff's current law without even knowing. See you in the next video.